Hey Umbles, um, Merry Christmas, I know it's a little late, um, so I guess Happy New Year now. Um, I've been working on this video for maybe about three weeks now. Um, I just wanted to give you guys this video over the holiday season. I know how hard it is, especially this first year. Um, without Alex, everything that, you know, holidays, birthdays, um, anything really is, is, is challenging, especially this first year. Um, so I just wanted to give you this uh, video for Christmas, and I guess for the new year. Um, just to show you, you know, all the positive things about Alex and, you know, hopefully this steers you away from all the negatives that you may be thinking or, you know, all the, um, bad emotions that you're feeling. Uh, I just wanted to give you this video so that you can see how loved he was and, uh, how many people he's affected throughout his life. Merry Christmas. Um, favorite memory with Alex. Uh, the one that I thought of immediately was just <laughs> one day we were out shooting at Country Day and um, he just kept hitting the top left post and I, I remember counting it had it was seven or eight times where it deflected and hit me directly um, and he did it in a row and I remember just laughing on the ground uncontrollably um, uh, just a, a lot of laughter is what I remember with Alex uh, I still don't know if he was doing it on purpose or not. I know he could, but <laughs> it was just so much fun. Um, and yeah, just, just a lot of laughter. Um, uh, another time was, yeah, I think I might have said this, but the day at the beach was like one of the, one of the highlights of my summers growing up was just that day at the beach. Um, but yeah, I I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas uh, and share a lot of memories and laughter. Um, you're always in my thoughts and prayers and uh, hope to keep in touch. Have a good day. Alex is the funniest person that I have ever been around my whole life. And I know Pat wasn't that funny before he met Alex, so he must have got all his humor from Alex. Um, Every single time I was with him, he just lit up the room. He he, he <laughs> brought tears to everyone's eyes and pure laughter. Everyone used to be dying of laughter. Even if it was the most awkward situation, he'd just make people laugh. Hi, Umbles. My name is Alex Cyber. I'm a friend of Alex and Patty's. Patty had asked me to make this video, um, just sharing some of my favorite memories of Alex. Um, Alex and I actually met in our math class. We were both terrible at math, um, so we'd sit together and pretty much just laugh at our crazy teacher um, and try to get through our work. Um, and that's when him and I became really good friends. Um, pretty much since the beginning, we would just sit at lunch together and hang out. Um, we'd always He'd pick me up in the Kia Soul and we'd be blaring Wiz Khalifa, uh, driving to Lancaster Country Day to pass the crossballs. Um, he was just such a good friend. He always listened to me. Um, we always just bonded over the same thing. Um, you know, I actually thought that Alex was like the greatest guy in the world. So I tried to hook him up with all of my friends. Um, I was successful in making him go to prom with Tori. He definitely did not want to go. Um, but I pretty much drug him to the mall, uh, made him get a cookie cake, and then uh, made him go to prom. Uh, but I think we had the best time together. Um, afterwards, we had this big camp out and just hung out all night. And uh, Alex was just such a good friend to me, like I said. Um, we we just had so much in common. Uh, he was always there for me, either to entertain me or to make me laugh or just to be a good friend and listen. Um, I miss him so much, and I'm always thinking and praying for you guys. I hope you have the best holiday and a happy new year, and just know that you guys are always in my prayers. Hey, Ambles. Sending you all my love these holidays. And Pat, thanks for putting this together. I guess you get my love as well. I want to share one of my most memorable memories with Alex. It's actually the weekend before Molly and I moved to New York City. The Umbles and I spent a whole day in Longwood Gardens. And for the first time in a long time, I just got to hang out with Alex. He spent the whole day with us, joking, laughing, admiring the scenery. And in hindsight, it saddens me that I never got to know the real Alex. But I'm grateful to have known him at all. Because even during the rough times, it was clear to me how caring and loving he was and how much he loved you guys and his sense of humor. 
He laughed at all my jokes, even the corny ones. I just want to tell you all that I love you and that I hope to see you all soon in the new year. So I knew Alex a little bit um, from going to Lancaster Catholic, um, but I really got to know him over the summer of 2014. Um, so the summer after my freshman year of college, I actually went to college with Pat um, and he really introduced us. Um, and that summer we just kind of all hung out and we would either like go swimming or just sit and talk. Um, and no matter what we did, we always just had so much fun. Um, even if we were just sitting and talking and really getting to know each other. Um, even though I didn't really know Alex for that long of a time, he really made it feel like we were friends for a lot longer. Um, he was just so easy to get along with and so easy to talk to. And he really just made everyone that he met and know um, feel so welcome and so loved. Um, he just had that contagious smile and laughter and was such a great person to be around. So even though I don't really have that many memories with Alex, um, the few that I do have with him I'll hold with me forever. Hi, I'm Wills. This is Rachel Flayo. I went to school with Alex Alex Grove and I also went to LMH. Um, and it's not like we kept in touch once he went to high school, thanks to Catholic or through college, or I saw him too often, but over the summers throughout college, I would hang out um, with him and Pat and Emily Clauser. And immediately, every time I saw him, it was always so fun, like just easy and comfortable. And he had such a special way of making you feel accepted even if you acted like super weird or goofy or whatever he just made you feel really funny and he was just such an easy fun presence all the time um he honestly was an amazing person like i feel like everybody without a doubt anybody that came in contact with him like their lives were made significantly better um and i can definitely say that's true for myself and the example of his life will live on forever um, I just wanted to send you all this quick message over the holiday season as you're missing him. Just know that his example and the person that he was will truly never be forgotten. Um, he was so special and had a way of making people feel so loved and comfortable, as I said, and that's something that I will definitely apply to my life. Um, Merry Christmas, Humbles. Happy holidays. There was this one summer, I'm not even sure how many years ago now, but... Alex and Patty and Jess and I would just get in the car and drive with nowhere to go and no agenda. We would just spend hours talking and laughing. And the thing I remember the most clearly was Alex's laugh. He just had the best laugh. We miss you. One thing I'll always remember about Alex is how good of a teammate he was. I know that 2011 season was one that I'll always remember, and I'll always remember Alex being a key part of it. Uh, he was always the first one there to help me up when I would fall, and he was always the first one there uh, to celebrate after we scored a goal. He was an amazing teammate both on the field and off the field, and that's something I'll remember forever. One of my favorite memories of all time was when Alex, me, Pat, and Jess went to Millersville for the first time together and somehow we accidentally ended up locked on the roof. And I just remember thinking this was one of the funniest nights of my life. We miss you, Alex. Hi there, Humble family. My name is Jess. I don't think we ever personally met, but I am a friend of Alex's. We always called him Humble from high school and through college. Um, I met him through Patty, and I just wanted to share a little memory with you this holiday season. Um, I remember one day I was back at f and from college. I went to school in Philly, so I didn't think I'd know anyone coming over to my friend's house at f and She described this perf perfect gentleman, um, how handsome he was, how his personality was just so charming and how sweet he was, how gentle and kind. And she nudged me when this guy walked in the door and when I looked down the stairs, I um, smiled real big because it was Alex and we had already known each other, but um, I just want you to know that everything she described him as, as the perfect gentleman was 
so true and honest and to the point. And seeing him, I had a big laugh because I I described what had happened. And, you know, we caught up for the rest of the night. It had been a while since we'd seen each other. But it was so nice to see him walk through those doors. And that was just one of those memories that flew back to me. And I just want you to let you to know how um, I'm thinking of you. I'm praying um, for your peace and for your um, wholeness over this next couple of weeks. And I really hope that um, this brings you some joy. And the one thing I will always, always, always remember him for was that laugh. And I can, I can hear it when I think about it. And um, I was always laughing with him. And so I know he's still laughing with me. When I think of Alex Umble, I think of three things. I think of how weird he was, which is said in the most wonderful way possible because I'm weird as well and something we shared. I remember quoting a lot of Austin Powers, making Alex put on a bacon costume one Halloween in the middle of Walmart. Um, he was just a weird guy and had a weird sense of humor and that's what made him him. Um, I also think about his love for lacrosse, which I think we've all reflected on the past few months. Um, you know, Alex and I also dated, and most fights could be resolved with going out and catching, throwing together. Um, and he did, he spoke through that um, in ways that sometimes his words could not speak. So, do you think of that? Um, and lastly, and most importantly, I just think of love, and I think of his love for everyone, um, most importantly and most passionately, I think his love for his siblings and specifically his love for Bridget um, because we all hung out all the time and I've, it was just the greatest testament of sibling love I've ever seen and I feel so privileged to, to know them and know you guys and know a love like that and I'll never forget sitting there with all of you watching childhood videos and just thinking about how great of a family you all are. My favorite memory of Alex is what a great friend he was for Patrick. You always want the best for your little brother and to have a best friend for him that was so kind and sweet and equally as goofy but a little more soft-spoken. Uh, I think they really balanced each other out well and I think um, their friendship helped Patrick grow into the person that he is today. And for that, I am forever grateful. I believe that we're all better people for knowing Alex. And we love and miss him dearly. I was lucky enough to get to know Alex uh, through Pat. Um, Alex was a really great person. I loved being around him. Uh, incredibly genuine. Uh, just had an awesome sense of humor and he provided a lot of great memories uh, for me. Uh, and one of the memories that definitely stands out uh, and that I can keep pretty short was when um, Alex visited Cabrini, one of the few times that he did. Um, he wanted to go to the school gym with Pat, so they asked to borrow my student ID. So I said, sure. Um, so Alex has my student ID. Um, they go to the gym, they hand their, the IDs to the front desk uh, the front desk takes a, you know, a little look at them and obviously sees that um, Alex doesn't exactly look like my picture. So they asked him to spell his last name. Uh, Alex hesitated for a little bit, um, went on to spell it. He spelled it incorrectly. <laughs> and then after that, he looked at Pat and asked him how to spell it. Uh, this is all in front of the people at the front desk. Uh, Pat obviously looked at him and not knowing what to say or do. Uh, so Alex then took one more final guess at my last name and with a lot of hesitation He did get it correct um, Obviously, there's no way the people at the front desk believed him uh, But they let him in anyway um, And that's just Alex being Alex. Uh, he didn't really even need to try. He just was one of the funniest people I've ever um, had the pleasure of meeting and uh, I definitely miss him a lot some of my favorite times with Alex would have to be playing